Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One in my old barn door. And I have my Christmas on the farm ring binder journal finished. So I thought I would do a flip through. And once you see the flip through, it will be available in my Etsy shop if you want to go and grab it. And I think that lots of people are going to want to go and grab it because it's beautiful and it's stuffed. Not to brag on myself, but you guys know I love the farm stuff and I think it's beautiful. So to me, this is beautiful and it is stuffed full of goodness. It's got lots of charms and dangles and it has a dangle here on the front. A couple of little dangles actually. It's tied with this gorgeous little um, fabric ribbon and it's got the... Um, I think they, I, don't, I think this is canvas. I don't think it's called duck cloth. I think it's canvas. So let me give you some measurements real quick. It is um, 10 and 1 8 inches tall. It is um, a little over 9 and a half inches wide. And the spine is about 2 inches. Those are approximates. Um, it has over 200 pages. Wait a minute. Let me add it up. I think there's... No, I think it's around 150 pages for journaling. That's front and back. And so on the cover, you have this gorgeous canvas cloth. And then on the spine, I've added the ribbon and this beautiful, beautiful horse and barns and Christmas trees. And you even have a little cardinal there. And then on the back, you have the beautiful cloth as well. And so let's just go inside and do a quick flip through so you can see what's inside because there's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just picking little pieces off. All right, so it just unties here. Okay. And it's um, the, the tie is attached. Okay, so we're just going to open it up. I couldn't bring myself to put anything in the front cover because... I just think it's pretty like it is. I wanted to show the truck and the little farmhouse and all of that, so I just left it like it was. Um, it does, it, it's a fabric cover. It does have the little um, protectors inside the binder. And as you can see, it's fairly stuffed, but there are a lot of goodies that are stuffed in the pockets that you can take out and play with in your journal. So it will, you know, and if you need to take some pages out, take some pages out. Um, Y'all know me, I always add um, an abundance of things into my ring binder journals, and so I just can't help myself, so hang on. Sorry about that, I had to get a drink of coffee. So in the front, you just have this little presented to, you know, you can put your information in here and on the back side. It had some writing here, but I just put a little bit of coffee dyed paper over that so that you could journal on it. I love the vintage Santa Clauses, as you know. Y'all are probably tired of hearing me say how much I love Santa's face. And then this flips out. It's got the lace on the edge. And so you have one of the my quilted fabric pockets here with the farm style um, fabrics. And then you have a little tag hanging over. It is removable. Excuse me, removable. Then you have this cute little tag here. It's a double tag. So you can actually use it for a gift tag if you want to. And then, of course, this tag that we made together um, on video with the um, Kool-Aid dyed paper on the back of it. And then in this little pocket, this is like a fabric quilted pocket. And so I just put a long little tag in there that folds open. And then the cute little snowman card for altering. And I'm going to do some videos um, soon or a video soon to show you some different things that you can do with all of your little playing cards and flashcards and things like that that we've accumulated over time. Okay, so next you have some of this nice crinkly coffee dyed paper. I love it. You have a Norman Rockwell page. Lots and lots of ribbon on the edges of the pages. And then um, you have a little dangles on some of the ribbons as well. Okay. Then on this pocket, this folds open so you can have a secret journaling spot. And then inside here, I put, this is like a little tag. And then you have a napkin and a couple of guest checks. I thought I would give you some fun things to play with. So this is what I'm talking about when I say, you know, there's lots of things that are stuffed in here that you can take out and play with or whatever. So um, it will lessen the bulk of the journal. 
Um, here you have a pretty little ruffle at the top of the coffee dyed paper. And then this is one of the little fold outs that we did on camera together with our Christmas card. You have an envelope here and I've stuffed you beautiful little vintage um, postcard in there with a vintage stamp. I thought the angels went cute for Christmas. This is a Mary Engelbright envelope and this is the Mary Engelbright card that goes with that envelope. And so this is another one of the Christmas cards that I showed you on the last video, I think it was. And so you can open that up and then this opens up for private journaling as well, or you can use it as photo mats. I loved this page. It came out of one of those Southern Living books or whatever, but I just loved all the little Santas and how country it looked. It just looks like a farmhouse to me. And so you have lots and lots of tabs throughout the journal as well. And then here is a fabric pocket with the barn um, fabric that's on the spine of the journal. And again, this pocket is stuffed, stuffed, stuffed with goodies for you to alter, for you to, um, you know, decoupage because in somewhere in one of these pockets, I have um, an envelope of, I don't know, several different types of Christmas napkins for you to do some decoupaging and playing. So you have lots of little tags and um, vintage flashcards, time cards, vintage game pieces, and then here are some super, super cute little stickers um, that look like farmhouse style decorations to me. And so I added a little pack of those in there for you to play with as well. Then you flip this one over and this is one of those um, cards that we um, reused. And so it has um, a playing card a tag there with the eyelash trim. And then you have a vintage Christmas card here very vintage. I don't know a year on it, um, but then it has like a little tuck, so you can actually, I guess this was their version of a money envelope back in the day. <laughs> so, and then you have the cute little ruffle here. You have Holly Hobby pages. Um, they're Holly Hobby Christmas pages, and I absolutely fell in love with them. I've been waiting all year to use this book because somebody sent it to me as a gift, and I fell in love with it. So you have those pages. This has the little Holly Hobby card stitched on, and this is in, from an Ideals magazine. I love these Ideals pages, and so you have the barn on both sides. And then you have this envelope here, and inside the envelope, it has the pat the actual patterns, um, the actual cross stitch patterns that are on here. So I thought that was cute to add in with that Christmas stuff. You have a little page tab here, some Kool-Aid dyed paper. It folds out. This is from the sweetest little Christmas book, and it had all kinds of different ideas and things to do to decorate and cook and just all kinds of little stuff that you can do for Christmas. And so I added a few of those pages in as well. And then here you have another Norman Rockwell page and it has the lace on the edge with the cool little rooster dangle on there. Here you have one of the um, snippet pockets that Sarah sent to me. So um, she sent me a whole big snippet roll, two of them actually, of Christmas snippets. And so I used a lot of that um, in this journal. I used it as tabs. And pockets and they're just wonderful so hopefully she'll be having her shop open in the next month or so and you can go over and grab some of her snippet rolls but you have some I thought these were cool with the gold and the silver for Christmas so you can alter those cards this is a cool little card um, uh, that I found in a, a very um, well I found it at Habitat for Humanity and it was a whole box of cards and then again, another one of those Christmas cards that we altered and made into a tag. And this one has a recipe on the back for the chocolate peppermint bark. Super cute. This is some a copy of some wrapping paper, some vintage wrapping paper that I got from Erin Klossner. And I just folded it up and made a little pocket in the back. I gave you a doily here to play with and a sweet little Christmas tag there. You have music page with some of that snippet as um, a page tab. This I've had for a while. It was gifted to me from a sweet friend in Georgia and it comes from um, a shop in Kennesaw, Georgia, which I'm familiar with, but I just thought it was beautiful to add her in here with the Christmas theme. Then you have a tip-in. So you have the um, 
the ruffle and then a couple of fabrics and then this fabric here with the scripture on it and the little sheep in the barn inside this envelope you have um, the 25 days of Christmas little um, squares so you can use those throughout your journal and then this was some of that computer paper it goes with this envelope and I just made a little pocket with it and so I put you an extra little doily in there and then another one of those tags that we made that's got coffee dyed paper on the back for journaling you can use it for a photo mat or what have you and you can use this part as a little pocket too if you wanted to but I didn't take anything in there this is um, from a, ch a very vintage children's music book that I found a while back and so I put you this little um, piece of fabric in you can use it as a pocket or a decoration on a tag a vintage um, postcard and then this was um, look it's Christmas greenings from 1945 it's from a little church and it has the vintage pictures in it and I just thought it was super cool to add in as a little piece of vintage history for Christmas you have the page tab there and then you have one of my quilted belly bands here and then of course we have the little holly holly booklet that we made on camera together so it has um, doily and the vintage ledger the crinkly paper and the kool-aid dad paper lots of fun goodies in there super cute little holly hobby and then over here there was just some ugly writing on the back of this page and so i just added vintage wall, um, wrapping paper and made it a little tip in so you can journal or use it for um, a photo mat as well you have the fabric ruffle on the side of the page here with a Christmas tree dangle and then you have the quilted pocket here and inside I gave you <laughs> these little gnomes are so cute and they're in this year so I added a couple of those there it's a, actually a playing card um, a Christmas scripture and then you have an altered bingo card with this gorgeous napkin and I put coffee dyed paper on the back and then a little memo sheet um, I love it with the little candy and even though it has someone's name on it because I found it in a thrift shop you know you can cover over that and decorate it and nobody will know the wiser so something fun to play with there okay and then I added in the whole story of the night before Christmas so you have the whole book intact and in order um, so you'll see all of those pages throughout the journal as well so you can read the whole story so you could actually read the story uh, you know while you're doing your journal you know you can read the story to your grandbabies or your babies or whoever another page tab there you have um, uh, designer paper here and on the back this is another one of those Christmas cards that we made into a pocket and so I just have you a couple of little memo sheets a little shopping card cute little memo sheet I think there's a couple of those and then a journaling card in there as well and then here's that little holly hobby card that I've added into the envelope pocket so you can use that pocket for other things if you want to pretty holly hobby Christmas page here I love y'all know how much I love holly hobby so and then on the back you get a sugar cookie recipe um, another one of those pages from that beautiful little Christmas book with a um, page tab there music with a page tab I, I put lots of page tabs in here um, and then some more of that twas the night before Christmas story this is some of that pretty computer paper that I love another little um, this is a little cowboy boot dangle here um, with this lace on the edge of this page sorry I'm having to scoot the book back and forth because it is it's big then you have another one of those quilted pockets with the barn and I just stuffed it full of goodies for you to play with in your journal so you have a Christmas scripture have a little snowman card that you can alter another one of those larger size cards these are like some little tickets then you have this sweetest little girl oh my goodness isn't she adorable and she's making Christmas cookies and then you have a couple of little sheets of these memos with the Santa on there let me see if I can get all of this stuff back in here the way I had it probably not but that's okay we'll make do <laughs> okay and then you have the night before Christmas story you have some coffee dyed paper that flips out 
beautiful, beautiful vintage Santa, and I love him in the black and white. So I added him in, and on the back side you have this gorgeous fabric flip. This is the fabric that I have on the spine of the journal, and then the blue ticking. Very pretty. And then another one of those pages from that Christmas book. Another Norman Rockwell page. And on the back side, we've used um, one of those Christmas cards and made a pocket with it. And inside the pocket, we've tucked another vintage Christmas card that we made a little booklet with. Then you have the avocado dyed paper. This flips open. Very, very vintage Christmas music book. And I love the children caroling. And I love the colors. And on the back side, I just flipped it up and made a pocket out of it. Okay, this is the envelope that's stuffed with napkins. I think there's five or six napkins in there. Beautiful Christmas napkins for you to use um, to decoupage different items throughout your journal. A couple of tags, a Christmas scripture, and then a little snowman tag there. In this pocket, you have one of those cards that we did together on that last video. A couple of cards for altering. And then this is a little Christmas tag. The Night Before Christmas story. Then you have a little um, candy cane dangle. Another one of those Christmas pockets. And then I have you a large size tag in here and a Christmas scripture. And it's just got one of the little clusters um, for the topper there. And then you have one of the snippet pockets on the back. I love it with the yo-yos on it. And so I put you some um, some Christmas labels in there to play with. Um, and then a couple of Santa cutouts. And then this sweet, sweet Santa journaling card. He's eating his Christmas cookies. And then here are some of the Christmas cards that we reuse. So you can open that up and journal inside. It's a pocket in behind. So I've put you a couple of journaling cards in that pocket. Then it opens up and you can journal inside as well. And then you have the Santa, the gorgeous Santa on the back. Another one of the beautiful Holly Hobby pages. And look how stinking cute that Santa is with his stockings. I love him so much. And then the rest of the Christmas, or the Not Before Christmas story. One of those beautiful vintage cards, and we just used it as a page. And then I stuffed this envelope with some extra papers, like Christmas designer papers. It's just, you know, some scraps for you to play with in your journal. And you have a little Holly Hobby dangle there on that lace. And then another one of those Christmas card pockets. And then here, I've made a large size tag with one of the collages at the top for the topper. And then I've just added a vintage playing card onto um, with a ball pen to decorate that. And then you have this little Merry Christmas tag in there as well. There's the Twas the Night Before Christmas story. Coffee dyed paper here and it flips out. And look at this beautiful, beautiful Santa. I found him in a Rand McNally book. It was a very large book. And so I trimmed it down as best I could, but I didn't make this a pocket. I made it more of a fold out so that you could fold it out and see the whole Santa and read the whole page because I think there's some decorations at the bottom. So I didn't make it as a pocket. This is a vintage greeting card and I made it into a pocket and put you quite a few little different colored um, playing cards in here for you to alter, make tags with or play with or whatever. You can make pockets out of them throughout the journal or however you want to use them. This is another one of those Christmas cards that we um, made into a pocket. So it opens up for secret journaling. And then in the pocket, you have one of those little um, craft color tags. One of my um, scrappy tags or collage page paper bag tags. And it has one of those sweet little yo-yos that my friend Sarah sent to me. And then you have some vintage labels. Um, these are vintage Christmas labels. And then look how pretty this is. Sweet little journaling card with the kids decorating the Christmas tree. So I loved that. Okay, I'll put that in there. And then that in there. The rest of the night before Christmas story. And you have a little snowflake dangle on this ruffle here. 
This was actually the cover of an Ideals magazine, but I absolutely loved what was inside. And wouldn't that make a beautiful photo mat? Or you could open it up and you can do mixed media on there. But I just liked uh, the colors, so I added it in. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a very, very vintage music page, so be careful with it when you open it. But it's got this gorgeous lady here, I guess, doing an opera or something. And um, it does have some writing on it, but I love how very vintage it is so you can actually leave it in here or you can take it out and use it you know throughout your journal this is that picture window Christmas card and so I just added a background in there so you can add a picture or whatever and then on the back side you have the snippet pocket and again one of those little gnome <laughs> cards in he adorable and then a large size journaling card in that pocket it's actually a belly band so and then this flips open. Let me scoot it over just a little. There we go. So you have um, a journaling, a couple of journaling cards tucked in here, and then a Santa card to alter. And then in this pocket, you have a couple of journaling cards. And then this opens up for a secret journaling spot. And this is actually um, the matte background, or you know this little background okay then you have I love love this paper I think it's so pretty and you have one of those um, quilted uh, belly bands and I put you a large size journaling card in there some of this um, this I actually recreated through um, Photoshop so I wanted to add a piece of that in there and look at Santa's face and he's so stinking cute <laughs> Yes, I said it. I'm sorry. And then I just added a little tab there. And then in this pocket, you have a Norman Rockwell card. And I thought it was cute to go with the Norman Rockwell page. A couple of pieces for altering. And then this is one of those altered Christmas cards that I made into a tag. And put a snippet at the top for the topper. Isn't he cute? Check out the fabric on that chair. I love it. <laughs> And then here you have um, a small pocket belly band, whatever you want to call it, out of snippet. And that beautiful Santa journaling card tucked in there. You have on this piece of lace, you have a horse dangle. And then you have the little reindeer on the back of that. Kool-Aid dyed paper that flips out. This can be used as a tuck. I had to stop putting stuff in because I couldn't fit anything else in here. And then this is an Ideals Magazine page. How pretty is that? And then you have the barn on the back side. And then in the very, very back of the journal, um, if you remember, we did the, um, the folio part. So I have stuffed, stuffed, stuffed this folio with lots and lots of goodies for you to play with. So again, once you empty this out and you use the goodies, um, you know, your book will thin out some. But let me just show you what I've put. Okay, so I have a large size pocket here. Um, out of this snippet roll and so I've put you some little scraps from the Santa papers and things that I've used in the journal these are um, little pieces that have fabric attached to them so you can make them into tags you can use them as tucks you can use them as page decorations or whatever beautiful little tag with the fabric that we have on the spine a Christmas scripture these are some of those very vintage vellum pages with the snowflakes on it that I found at the thrift shop and then an extra piece of design paper in there for you to play with. So that's in that front pocket. So let me get all of this stuffed back in here if I can. Here's the scripture and then these little tags here. Okay and so our folio opens up and so you have a large size pocket here with the vintage red trucks with the flowers in the back or the trees in the back. And so in this pocket, I've stuffed you back here. Um, it's just extra pieces of the design papers and a little bit of burlap that I've used in the journal. Then you have this cool envelope that you can use anywhere in the journal that I decoupaged on. Stuff, stuff him back in there. And then you have a large size tag with a, a ribbon topper. This is the fabric that I used on the spine as well. Can you tell I love this fabric? It's just beautiful to me. I absolutely love, love that fabric. And then you have a Christmas scripture there. 
with the Santa on it. And then in the last three pockets, there's three pockets on this side of the folio. And as you can see, it's stuffed full. In the top pocket, I just have you quite a few pieces of extra design paper, scraps from papers that I used in the journal. And then in, um, I also have um, a tag there with the fabric. This is fabric and then a ribbon topper. And then you have several little tags here that I wanted to share. This My friend Lisa sent these to me. And I was going to go and get some of this paper, and I never got a chance to. So, I'm I'm using those in this journal. Sweet little tag there. This is fabric. And then you have a plain card for altering. And then this very large size fabric made from that sheep and barn fabric. And then you have the little rusted snowflake here as the topper. So, that is the... Christmas on the Farm journal. I hope you love it. It is a five ring binder journal. So um, if you love it, run and grab it. It is available in the Etsy shop now if you're watching this video. If it's not there, it means it was sold out. Um, I'm sorry, but I do have a feeling this one's gonna go fairly quickly because everybody loves the ring binder journals and they love the farmhouse stuff. So. It usually goes pretty fast. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And um, I hope y'all have a great day. And I listen, I'm going to be going out of town. So if you order this, if, if it doesn't get ordered by um, tomorrow morning, it probably won't go out in the mail until next week because I'm going home for Christmas this year for the first time in five years. So I'm super excited to get to be going home to Georgia um, and be with my family for the holiday. So, um, but I'll be back next week and we'll start some, I think I'm finished with Christmas stuff. Um, I think I'm tired of doing the Christmas journals. So if you want me to do another Christmas one, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm probably going to pack everything up. <laughs> so thank you all so, so much for watching. I love y'all real big and I hope y'all have a wonderfully happy Thanksgiving. Big hugs.